So the video series Pactor Factor is a series where Michael Pactor answers questions about the gaming industry and that kind of stuff and just, you know, makes predictions on what's going to happen. And in his latest episode, episode 72, he was asked a question about the Nintendo Switch. They asked if the Nintendo Switch could entice either Sony or Microsoft to create their own hybrid devices, and Pactor thinks it's not going to happen. His reasons are that Sony has not found really any success with the PSP and PS Vita. Sure, the PSP sold kinda sorta well, around 70 million units, which still is a lot, but is nowhere near to Nintendo's standards of that time. However, at the beginning of the question, the person who asked it also talked about, you know, the strong sales of the Nintendo Switch. This is what he had to say. If they keep the price at $300, as in the Nintendo Switch, it will sell 50 million units. If they cut the price to 200 pretty quickly, it will sell 70 million. If they cut the price to 100, which, okay, no, it'll sell 90 million. But as a price, everything is all based on supply and demand. If demand goes up, then the price goes down. So, success at $300, then there's no way they're selling more than 50 million. No chance. Now, I see where Michael Pactor is coming from. Like, it all comes down to price and demand, and of course, supply. But really, I agree and disagree. So yeah, if the Nintendo Switch keeps like getting more demand and actually comes back in stock, then we're probably going to see more and more units sold. And there is a lot of demand for the Nintendo Switch, like an insane amount of demand. So I think Nintendo's covered there. Supply is where the Switch is lacking right now, as you can't really find a Switch anywhere. And of course the price, which, I mean, the price could be better, but it's pretty good for what you're getting. I could see that turning off some people because, yeah, it's still a lot of money. 300 bucks is not something you just throw away. But I also kind of disagree with him because I think that with Nintendo's great marketing they've been doing and just all of the amazing stuff Nintendo has been achieving, I think that if they keep holding that up, I think maybe if the price, like, starts going down, like, later in the Switch's life, like, maybe two years down, we could probably be seeing around 70 million, but I do think that 70 million would probably be the lowest. I don't think the Switch is going to sell like 50 million because with the way the Switch is going, now again, that could change. I don't think it's going to go that way, but we can't really we can't really make solid predictions at this time because the Switch has been out for half a year. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do share this video on social media. It really does help. If you have any gaming news articles that you want me to talk about, please private message me on YouTube with a link to the article. And if you ask, you might get a shout out for it. Please leave your thoughts on this in the comment section below. And see you.